What's up, guys? Justin Morgan and today being Monday is the day to do some type of diet review or cover diet in some way and today um, this subject is going to be kind of loosely related to diet but it will be focused on why doctors don't advocate diets or why they don't prescribe diets as a primary treatment and I've seen uh, recently a video where um, a doctor was interviewed and one of, that was kind of one of the primary discussions is why don't doctors recommend this type of diet as a way to treat diseases and there was a long discussion but I think there's a much simpler much easier explanation to it than that and the truth is that doctors aren't trained to use diets they're trained to use medicine it's even in their name they're an MD they're a medical doctor, their primary use or their primary scope of practice is based around medicine. So the same way that their scope of practice is medicine, the scope of practice of a dietitian is diet. So if I were to go into somebody's hospital room or going to visit the, a patient and I were to start, start telling them all these medications that they needed to take or, or I you know started trying to tell them about medication or some other aspect of health, then I would I could be cited as be practicing outside of my scope, or I or you know practicing something outside of my scope of practice would be the common term that's used to describe that. Well, doctors generally have a scope of practice. It may range. So, a doctor of dentistry, for instance, they work on teeth. A gynecologist, they let's use a different example. An oncologist, they're a cancer specialist, and all of these may have these kind of specific dietary um, protocols that may be used, like you may hear a doctor say, eat less sugar to get less cavities, or an oncologist may have very specific things that they, they recommend, um, but they're really not equipped to deal with the total, the, the total part of the diet. They're not equipped to do that. They're not educated in what's called medical nutrition therapy. That would generally be something that's only limited to a dietitian. Um, so if a doctor was to do that, and that is a um, course that doctors can take, they can go, uh, not a course, it's, it's a, a, you know, an added degree program. They could go become a certified nutrition specialist. Now, I've never heard or met anyone in that actually have this certification. It's extremely rare and it it's pretty much non-existent. But doctors can technically go back to college and take uh, one to two years of, of, act, of extra practice and study medical nutrition therapy and then they are actually able to give clinical um, nutrition, uh, use medical nutrition therapy in a clinical setting uh, to prescribe things. Other than that, they really are not supposed to be doing that. That's not to say that they don't or that they won't or that they may not recommend that you follow a healthy diet. But the general idea is that doctors do not do that. That's for dietitians. In the same way that um, a medical doctor or a family physician would not try to work on your teeth, um, the, the two, you know, they operate within their scope of practice. Uh, uh, general physicians are actually required to take one nutrition class as part of the um, American Medical Association, you know, approved program. I'm not sure how they, they word that. Um, but in that, they are learned to kind of identify the differences between macro and micronutrients. They learn to, like, how many calories are in a gram of carbohydrate, fat, protein, and that kind of thing. Um, but it's just so even though they may have like a class that they learn that does not prepare them to use medical nutrition therapy as I mentioned before in a clinical setting. Um, doctors for the most part are trained to treat symptoms, not necessarily diseases. They're excellent with acute injuries um, and they, you know, if, if somebody comes in with a broken arm, they're equipped to set that. They're equipped for a large variety of um, these like acute illnesses that come up. Uh, they are specialists in medication. So when you go to a doctor and they recommend a medication and then someone accuses doctors of 
well, they only know how to prescribe medicine. Well, yeah, that's what they're trained to do. It's in their name, medical doctor. Medicine is part of their title. So I don't, I don't necessarily agree with somebody criticizing them because that's what their training is completely based around, is medication. Um, but we go to doctors expecting them to do things that they really weren't trained or equipped to do, and then we're upset when they don't do them. That's not necessarily fair to doctors either. So that's just some of my ideas about it, some of the things that uh, my experience working in as a nutrition specialist in the medical field, that's you know, that's my opinion on that. I work very closely with doctors every day. Um, I share, you know, updates with things. I write in the doctor's book notes about things that they need to take a look at. Uh, they are generally very cordial, very nice to me, and they're very supportive of people following healthy diets. But it's not their primary way of practicing medicine and improving people's health, though. So, that's just some of the information that may be left out when people start criticizing doctors about um, not telling people that they need to follow healthier diets. You guys take it easy, and I will talk to you in that next video.